Hey guys, what is up? So I have, um, I've been doing these pomade videos now for uh, much of the first half of this year. Um, and one of the things that one of my commenters asked a while ago, I've been trying to kind of respond to your suggestions and requests in the comments when they're doable and I think they're worth pursuing. Um, someone had said I had done a pomade review and my hair, I recently got my hair cut, it was pretty short, and they should, said you should do another one when your hair is much longer and show us what it's like. So that's what I'm here to do today. Um, now I haven't really used any heavy pomade in my hair in the last four or five days. Uh, I've used some light, light stuff, light to medium stuff, and I just shampooed last night. So my hair is, is pretty clean, pretty poofy, it's soft. Um, it has a, a slight bit of tackiness to it, but not really. Uh, it's just kind of in a nice washed condition state. So we're going to take the old standby, black and white, and we're going to throw some in here. Um, now I will tell you my hair has gotten pretty long. I'm just going to kind of pull it up here so you can see how long it is on top and out here on the sides. I mean, if I were just wearing my hair down like rocker style or whatever, it would be considered longish hair, you know. So, and it's gotten to the point where, um, adjust this a little bit. Um, it's gotten to the point where uh, I'm having to do a ducktail and back because of the length. Which actually, I had forgotten how much I like the ducktail. Um, I haven't done one in a while. I've done kind of a, a straight back that just kind of, kind of an asymmetrical fold, I guess I call it. And it's worked okay, but um, I've had some trouble with my sides at times. And the great thing about a ducktail is everything folds in together, you know, uh, with the way I used to do my back, a lot of times I'd get my back and my sides right and then my front would be like this. <laughs> and then I, so I pull my front up and then my colic is exposed or whatever, or you know, something is pulled out of, out of place and it just kind of becomes this logistical nightmare. Whereas with the ducktail, you know, you fold all this stuff back and tuck it in and everything and then you still have you can still do something with the front, even when it's crazy, crazy long like that. So, let's dig in here. Um, now, I chose, I could have used Murray's, something heavy, but I wanted to choose what is basically a light to medium pomade to show you guys that when it comes to doing a ducktail or a long pompadour, you don't need rock hard pomade to make it work. Now, if you want precision and you want everything tightly tucked together and perfectly locked in place and to not move, when you go out driving in your 32 Ford Roadster or you're at a dance with your girl and she's running her fingers through your hair, then yeah, you probably need heavy pomade. But your hair is going to be less touchable for your girl. And um, so there's that too. So basically just working this stuff in all the way to the back. It becomes even more critical with longer hair that you get a good spread uh, from roots to ends. <clears throat> I like this pomade because it goes in so easily. 
I've talked about it before when I've demoed it, but it, it gets creamy. It spreads really nicely, it gets creamy. And the great thing is, um, once it gets in the hair, it kind of sets up a little bit, kind of like the way it is in the jar. It's like a jar of wax. But you emulsify it, goes in the hair, and then it goes back to its waxy state, and you get a, a decent hold for a light to medium pomade. Black and white gives a decent hold. So we've got all this junk in my hair. Now you can see even like right here, my hair was doing something weird yesterday. Like it got this weird reverse rate, reverse wave to it. Um, it's getting close to. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to go, but it, it's getting close to when I would start thinking about going to the barber and getting a haircut. But I'm going to let this go as long as I can where it still works. It gets to a point of diminishing returns where, you know, you can't tuck the back in and fold it together anymore and it just starts it starts sticking out like a literal duck's ass. <laughs> and uh, it, it just, you can't do anything with it, you know? Um, or if your hair has a natural wave to it like mine does, um, it, uh, it just starts kicking out in places that you don't want it to, even with pomade, unless it's like just crazy heavy. So that's another thing, using a medium weight pomade when your hair is long can help you gauge when you just really need to get over to the barber and get cleaned up. So you can see here already that it's starting to comb up quite nicely. Okay, so now you got to get in there and get the back, right? So I'm going to do my best to show you how this works. Um, what I do is I actually take the sides, not only back, but a little bit when I get back here by the back of the head. I actually roll it up a little bit, and I'll explain why in a minute, but so you want to kind of just start gathering this stuff together, and you fold this up and in, and you start this motion from the top down of not only folding it in, but tucking it together. I have no idea how this looks right now. I'm doing this by feel. I can feel something sticking out back there, so apologies if it looks goofy, but let me grab a mirror here and see what, look at my handiwork. Okay, so not too bad. I'm, I'm just looking at this here. So one of the issues you'll run into is a, a ducktail gets long. I don't think it's perfectly symmetrical either right now, but... One of the things that happens is, and bear in mind, this is me growing out a, um, just a regular, pretty short pompadour from, I don't know how long ago, 
three, four, six, it's more than four. Probably four or five months ago, I got a haircut. And it was like, it was shorter than I've gone in a long time. It was shorter on top. It was very short on the sides. Um, to the point that I've had some short pompadours to the point that I was like, yeah, that was too much, right? And yet this has grown out and it's just naturally come to this place where you can do this. Now you can see down here on my bottom, this is where I know I'm needing to get to the barber soon, right? Down here on my bottom, this part where the long, some of the longest part of the sides comes together is starting to kind of overlap. And up here, this is long too, but this stuff can all be tucked together and down, right? Folded in and pulled down, and it actually kind of locks it together. It's really cool. But this stuff, when it gets to a certain length, it's just like, and it just starts doing all this weird junk back there, you know? So if you're, if you have enough of it, which is why I kind of want to grow it a little more, you have enough of it, you can kind of get this extra greasy, almost like a tail. Remember when rat tails were a thing? And thank, thank goodness they went away. Um, but you can probably throw some grease in there and just pull that down, pull that together, and maybe still do something with that. Usually when I would get to this point, this is when I would run to the barber and be like, yeah, it's too much. So, now, I could probably put some more pomade in here and get a little more hold. You can see back here when I comb this how long that is. Uh, I could probably get a little more hold. Um, but it's not really necessary and see my top doesn't really, with this amount of grease, my top doesn't really want to go the, up and over so much. It's more of kind of a, a folded to the side kind of thing, like an early Elvis kind of thing, which is cool, you know. Um, but the great thing is, if you do this right, it actually locks together and holds really nicely. And you can see I can pull my back in and my sides in and not really jack up my top and so I'm liking the ducktail again <laughs> um, anyway I just kind of wanted to run this quick video uh, show you guys how long my hair has gotten that you can get your hair to a, like a pretty crazy length where with or without grease you're feeling like okay it's getting too long and yet it's not really too long. Um, now, let's, I'm not sure where my front is. My front's coming down to about my nose. That's not the longest I've had my front. I've had my front down to my chin. So you can get the top and the front pretty long and still work a ducktail. Um, but you have to this is the thing, I mean, what kind of greaser are you, right? Do you want to just kind of put your hair together in the morning and never have to think about it again? I mean, that's okay. Some guys are like that, you know. Um, but if you're willing to take the time to comb it a little more, and I'm not talking about a half hour, the blow dryer and all this junk. I mean, some guys use blow dryers. But, um, you know, maybe another five or ten minutes. Of just combing it and working it through and adding a little more grease adding a little more grease you know until you get it just right and then I'll go to work and bear in mind I work in a hospital I'm taking my glasses on and off all the time which kind of messes with this stuff or goggles that I have to put over my glasses because we have to wear all this PPE I've got masks and stuff like masks that stretch over your ears and you know all this kind of junk or the, the pullover ones with the rubber bands and back. So this is constantly getting jacked with, and yet it still looks pretty decent through an 8 to 12 hour shift. So, uh, yeah, you know, grow your hair. If you're, if you're one of those greasers that's always done like kind of the, 
the high and tight fade with the clipper cuts on the sides and the back and then this maybe kind of modest on top at least once at least once in your life uh, as a greaser try just growing your hair crazy freaking long and playing around with a ducktail it's fun and you know you may decide it's not for you um, you may decide it requires too much product and it's too taxing on your hair on your scalp I get it you know um, but you know you can make this work and especially if you have you know maybe a couple of days during the week where you can just now put any product in it and just kind of you know let it breathe shampoo your hair real good and then just throw on a hat or a flat cap or something like that a fedora uh, and go out like that you know you give your hair a little bit of a break um, you can make this work pretty much indefinitely so uh, let me know guys uh, what you think um, if you have any questions if you have any thoughts uh, how about you guys how many of you are sporting the ducktail uh, the duck butt the DA um, and you know even leave some links if you have some pictures or uh, you know some videos of your doing your own hair or whatever you know I love to check that stuff out you know that's where I get ideas is watching other people you know how they do things I learn things looking at people like Elvis and Johnny Cash studying how they did their hair and like okay let me try that you know you eventually find that like what looks cool on other people doesn't really necessarily work for you but um, you'll find your thing you know and you have to that's really the thing with these haircuts you have to find what works with your hair what kind of hair do you have is it thick and coarse or is it uh, thin and fine? Um, is it super abundant? Is it kind of sparse? Where are your colics? Uh, how does it like to naturally lay? What kind of natural wave does it have? And how can you work that into something cool? Um, it, at the end of the day, like having a cool greaser haircut, ducktail haircut is not so much about looking like someone else as finding a way to take that type of style and make it work with your head and your scalp and what God's given you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash the like button. Um, if you're not a subscriber, smash the, the subscribe button. Uh, believe it or not, I know everybody says this all the time, but believe it or not, that helps me. It helps me get to, uh, first of all, it helps me get metrics where my stuff is seen more and uh, gets recommended more. It also helps me to grow towards monetization and uh, being able to eventually, do, hopefully develop an income stream from this. So, and, and that helps me to provide you with more and better content in the future. Take care guys, thanks for checking in, stay greasy and God bless.